Hey guys, how's it going? It is me, Saber, once again with another quick vid. And this time it's for the Steven Universe movie. Yeah, there was a movie recently. And I actually really admire how Cartoon Network went about this. Apparently there was a premiere in LA, which is kind of cool. Uh, for Cartoon Network itself, they aired the entire thing without commercials, which is also pretty cool. And then you can also watch it on their website. I think, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the case. All right, I'm just gonna hop right into this. I got my bullet points about the movie, let's go. So Steven Universe had its season finale, I believe it was earlier this year. And all things considered, I thought it was the end of the show. By the way, this video is riddled with spoilers, so yeah, take that for what it's worth. Last season's finale ended with a pretty big, like, culmination of things happening. You have White Diamond facing down with Steven, and how he basically, in his Steven way, brought her around, and she became a good guy. And how the Crystal Gems and the rest of the Homeworld Empire had finally come to peace. Which again, that made it seem like the show was over to me. When I was watching the season finale, I was like, is this it? Is, is this the final episode? Because it feels like it. But according to my friends, there's another season left. So I guess there's one more to go. It's so strange because I vividly recall this. When I first saw Steven Universe as a show, it was back in like 2013. I was at a car dealership getting my car. Like I was buying a new car because I guess I needed one. That makes me sound really rich. It was time to buy a new car, so I figured, what the hell, let's go down to the local Lamborghini dealer and buy another one. So I remember sitting in, like, the guest room of the dealership, and I saw Steven Universe on the TV. And I was like, okay, uh, another new show for Cartoon Network. I, I kind of dig it. And it's so funny seeing what it was originally and how far it's come along. Now, I do have my beef. I do have some beef with Steven Universe. It's not a perfect show, but there are many things about it that I do like. And that totally goes for the movie as well. I enjoyed this movie. I, I guess I'll embellish on that in a moment. Let's do a synopsis rundown of the movie itself. So there's a time jump. Steven is now 16 years old. He's a teenager. Uh, everybody else has grown up a bit with him, except for the Crystal Gems because they're immortal, I suppose. You see how life has become more peaceful on Earth, how all of the problems in the past have finally chilled out. Uh, by the way, this movie is a musical. There is a ton of music, really good music. I do appreciate how the beginning of the movie actually kind of rolled out the story like an old Disney movie. It reminded me of like Robin Hood, Sleeping Beauty, or in particular, Beauty and the Beast, with how like it's a flip book, here's a story, here's what happened, and here we are now. So of course, uh, this wasn't going to last, and a new antagonist arrives whose name is Spinel, which whenever I heard that name, I thought of Spinelli from Recess. They both got pigtails, I guess. So this antagonist shows up. She's uh, never seen her before. She wrecks the joint. She basically does a hard reset on the memories of the Crystal Gems, the main ones, Pearl, Amethyst, and Garnet. They all forget their previous experiences. And then Steven goes on a crusade to figure out how to fix things. And something I really do appreciate about this movie is how tired Steven seems about all of this. You can tell that he just wants to be done with all this bullshit. He is so tired of having to save the universe, having to fix all of his mother's past problems, to which she left a ton of them for this poor kid. Like in hindsight, Rose Quartz was a bit of an ass. Oh, uh, I'm gonna do a bunch of stuff with no repercussions. I'll just let my kid deal with it because I'm such a good mom. Again, I don't wanna get into too much detail, uh, synopsis, you know? So blah, 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 blah. Uh, Steven goes around, he cries. There's a bunch of music. He cries some more. Uh, he, again, is so tired of having to deal with the same old, same old. He even says that. There's a part of the movie where it gets a little bit meta, where he's like, I'm so sick of having to do this. And I don't blame the guy. I kind of appreciate that the show itself addressed that. There's also a meta moment where the villain's like, I don't care about your songs, shut up. Which again, I, I appreciate moments like that, that keep it real. Overall, you learn that the antagonist, Spinel, was Rose Quartz's original, like, companion. And then Rose Quartz, aka Pink Diamond, decided, okay, I'm tired of playing with my toy. I'm gonna go off and be a real leader now. And then she completely forgot about her friend for 6,000 years while her friend stood there and waited and waited and waited. And then no one came back for her. And then she snapped and went to Earth and threatens the Earth with some kind of, like, toxic goo 
that can harm both Crystal Gem and organic life on Earth. Going into the movie, I, I thought this giant like needle thing was to activate some other like if I recall, there's a cluster of gems in the Earth and that they will blow up. I think it's been a while, folks. I need to rewatch the series. But no, it was something different. It was a uh, poison instead. Oh, also, Steven lost his powers in this movie, so he was kind of uh, lacking and, and needed to make up for it. Not make up for it, but like you could tell he was not fighting at 100%, which makes the story more interesting. So all in all, Steven makes friends with Spinel because this show is apparently My Little Pony. Actually, I was thinking about this. I think the villains and the antagonist in Steven Universe are forgiven and, uh, <laughs> what's the word I'm looking for? They come back into society more often than the villains from My Little Pony, which is really saying something. Like, you actually have villains in the My Little Pony who are like, nope, I don't want to be good, screw you. And uh, I don't think that's ever happened once in Steven Universe. Uh, every single antagonist that is thrown at Steven and his friends come around. And uh, it gets a little old, but it's also a show about emotions and talking things out. All right, so what did I like about this movie? I liked that it was a musical. That was fun. Great music. Uh, Spinell's song when she first showed up on Earth was fantastic. I enjoyed it. it and, and I also liked the beginning with the three diamonds singing along with each other. It sounded like a Broadway play. Heck, at the end of the actual movie, they have a scene when they're like on stage wearing suits. It seems like a play. The music, it really is like one of the main bullet points about this movie. And in that regard, they did an outstanding job. The animation is fantastic as well. I like the visuals. I like Spinell's character design. A lot of folks compare her to XJ9. Uh, you see a lot of this Fleischer-esque rubber hose animation uh, character design about her where she like moves left and right, up and down, bouncy, a lot like a villain from Cuphead, which again is inspired by those old rubber hose, Fleischer-like movies and cartoons from the 1920s, 30s, and 40s. 40s, I, I think they were in the 40s, mostly 20s and 30s. There were some surprises in this movie. One in particular that really caught me off guard was the fusion between Greg and Steven. That was out of nowhere for me. I was not expecting that kind of made me raise an eyebrow where I'm like, wait a second, what does fusion exactly mean? Which I I'm, I'm know that Steven Universe fans are having this conversation and uh, I, I'm kind of confused in it because I mean, I thought it was uh, something between significant others, but I guess if anything, it's more of like fusion represents just love between people. And that's that regardless of the relationship that they have. So I guess that's why it happened. Also, he had a freaking awesome pompadour. <laughs> I, I thought of like those old Japanese characters from anime who have like those big poofy haircuts. Negative wise, I was on the fence about the story. So again, there was a hard reset for the Crystal Gems and I thought it was a bit repetitive because we've done this before where we know that Amethyst is insecure, Pearl has dependency problems, Garnet trying to find peace with who she is with Sapphire and Ruby and independence of that. It just felt like we've done this before. So I guess in that regard, I see it as a love letter to the overall show, which I can be cool with. I, I am cool with, it's fine. Well, I guess what I'm trying to say is I, I would have been happy with something a bit more new and fresh, but maybe they're just reaffirming things before they move on to the new season, who knows? I guess it all depends on how they follow this up. So that's all I really have to say about the movie. The animation's great. Uh, Spinell is a very fun character. There's a little bit of, again, repetitive storytelling here. But outside of that, I thought overall it was fine. Didn't knock my socks off, but I, I, it, it was fine. Should be interesting to see where Steven Universe goes from this point on. If I'm correct, there's one more season, and I guess we'll see how they wrap this up. Not sure how they're going to do that, though, because as it stands right now, I don't know what bad guys are left. Maybe it's just a bunch of slice of life episodes, which is a little anticlimactic, but whatever. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'll probably do another quick vid about that whenever it happens. All right. So let me know what you all think in the comments down below. If you saw the movie, what you think about it. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.